Gadget Cafe TV. I have got the Gadget Classic coffee station to show you today. Uh, this is the Gadget Classic 2019, uh, the 2019 onwards, I should say. It is the one similar to the pre-2015 model, uh, which has got the solenoid valve, uh, the OPV, OPV although uh, is not the same OPV as we had before. Uh, people used to adjust the OPVs on the old model. This one has got one which is at the top of the, the pump. I'll talk to you more about it later or it is on another video as well. Uh, so this, is, this has got the rocker switches, the classic pro uh, steam arm. Um, and so it's a professional steam arm and a, a heavy filter holder with three different baskets uh, one for the perfect what is called the perfect crema basket which has uh, it's more of a trainee basket it has got two different layers so you'll get a nice creamy finish to the coffee uh, but if you wanted to sort of go one step further with a grinder uh, if you had a good grinder then you can make it finer and make a real espresso so it's a home barista kit. Now we used to do the, uh, the Gadget MDF grinder uh, and the Nemox grinder. Here I have got the Nemox grinder because we have now discontinued the, uh, the Gadget MDF. We will probably get one uh, fairly soon uh, uh, of another uh, Gadget grinder but we have done the the Nemox grinder for about 10 years now and it's a really good grinder for espressos. Uh, it has got only 10 settings compared to the old uh, MDF of something like 30, 33 setting, 34 settings. But if you had say the Nemox at something like 3, 2, 3, 1, 2 or 3 you'll get a, a very good fine coffee for your espresso. So it's really good compared to some of the other grinders we also have on our website for those who want cho want a choice. Uh, there is a Baratza uh, uh, Virtuoso Plus. Uh, the Enco is not the kind of grinder that I would recommend for a classic. Uh, it is okay for the pressurized systems but not maybe for, uh, for the classic. But the Nemox is quite a good grinder for this type of machine uh, so you can get a really fine grind with the with the Nemox. The, uh, the advantage with the Nemox also is that you can have uh, so all you do is you just press that button and it will grind for you into the uh, into the basket so it's almost like a one uh, sort of on-demand grinder. So all you do is press the button and you can grind. So you can see this uh, classic and the grinder together. I have actually put this on this metal knockout box and this whole system is called the coffee station. It's quite compact you have a very large uh, knockout box stainless steel with a, a gadget uh, logo as well nemox grinder so that's on demand grinder so you can actually have your filter holder straight in press the button and that will grind straight into the uh, the filter the this has got 11 settings so you press that button and then you can adjust your grind setting you have got a, a plastic see-through uh, dispenser the switch is on the left hand side so once you have it on it automatically when you press that button it actually dispenses it grinds and dispenses the coffee the Nemox is a conical shaped uh, grinder, burr grinder, uh, so it's slower, so you have got speed controls. It actually doesn't heat up the, uh, 
the coffee too much. Conical shaped grinders uh, actually are slower. Uh, the, the burr grinder, the flat burr grinders like the old MDF uh, is much faster but it can create some heat. Don't put too much of coffee into the, the bean hopper. It's not a big bean hopper, but it will be more than sufficient for uh, sort of, uh, I think it's about 150 grams of coffee that goes in there. So it's quite a nice grinder for that. You need to put as little as possible into grinders to make sure that you have a fresh coffee. So this, is, this whole system is quite a nice uh, set up for a home barista. We do have, the machine comes with a, a plastic uh, knockout uh, sort of a tamper uh, and a measuring spoon. You can buy heavy uh, 58 millimeter uh, tampers. They are available online and you can, on your options, you can actually select if you wanted at a lower price. Uh, or you can buy them separately at a later date. We have metal uh, stampers, uh, the black one. This is also available in a wooden uh, finish. You also have uh, other accessories that uh, you can buy, like the tamper mat. Uh, you have got uh, jugs and uh, uh, different size jugs, metal jugs. Have a look at more of the videos on the Gadget Classic 2019 and we compare it with the uh, pre-2015 model as well and the, and the 2015 version. Uh, so this actually has got the solenoid valve and the OPV all built in. It has a, uh, a, the rocker switches, the professional steam arm, uh, an improved uh, I should say an improved uh, drip tray and also the body is different as well so you can actually see the tank uh, more from uh, from the sides so you can see the water level from the sides three different lights so you can actually have it on the first light comes on the second light is for your coffee that will actually light up when it comes to the the, the temperature uh, required for the coffee once if you wanted steam you press that button and that will go up to steam temperature when you get to the steam temperature and if you are steaming the milk once you finish your steaming make sure that you get some water through the steam pipe it's also good to clean the wand as well so getting some water through so now the the, the light is on and it's saying that it is okay for coffee. It sort of keeps the temperature between sort of 75 to 92 degrees. And you, you have to make sure that you brew the coffee at the right temperature, depending on what you are brewing. Uh, a coffee sometimes needs to be at a higher temperature. Uh, so any temperature in between will be okay to sort of uh, try out different coffees. Um, so it's sort of keeps it at that level so you have a thermostat that takes it to the 92 degrees and then when it reaches that it starts to come down it switches off and then uh, it'll come down to a certain level and it keeps it at that sort of uh, range of temperature the steam button when you switch it on the coffee light goes off and it'll start to get to the temperature at which you want the steam to be at. Once it gets to the temperature you can steam and once you have finished as I say just switch the steam button off get a little bit of water through and then press the coffee button it will then start to come through here and once it has come through the steam pipe just close the steam knob and it will come through the head and that's called priming the machine so it's a good thing for the machine you really should be doing it even if you're not steaming it's a good practice to get some water through the uh, steam pipe and prime the machine regularly especially if you are in a hard water area it's a good practice to do that that flushes the system and keeps the machine healthy 
I hope it has been useful. Have a look at our videos uh, on gadgetdirect.com or you can go to YouTube uh, to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.